Five one. Here's your bu reading buddy Jacob. Today I'm gonna read for you the Great Fire of Pondy Pandy. It was a special day in Ponty Pandy. Chief Fire Officer Boyce had come all the way from Net Town to give Fireman Sam a medal for bravery. Well done, Sam, he said. Thank you, sir, replied Sam. Station Officer Steele and the rest of the fire crew were very proud of Sam. He was a hero. After the ceremony, Chief Fire Officer Boyce asked Sam to be the station officer in Net Town. Sam knew that being a station officer was a very important job, but he wasn't sure that he wanted to move away from Ponty Pandy. I need time to think about the job, Sam told Officer Boyce. Later, Sam, Elvis and R Radar went to, to the forest. They put up signs to, rem to remind people not to light campfires. With the weather so hot and dry, a forest fire could spread quickly. Pondy Pandy would be in great danger. Before Sam returned to the fire station, Elvis asked him, "I'd like to be a hero too. How do you how do you do it?" "I'm I'm not sure," Elvis Sam replied with surprise. "I just try to be the best firefighter I can be." On the other side of the forest, Trevor helped the children pitch their tents. He had brought them on a camping trip so they could earn their Ponty Pandy Pioneers survival badge. Their next task was to gather food from the forest for lunch. But all they could find were a few blackberries. They po the pointers were hungry. Trevor tried to lead a sing song, but the children were too grumpy to sing. Earning the survival badge was hard work. Norman and his Cousin Derek had secretly brought some sausages on the, the trip. They sneaked away to find a place to cook them. But there are no fires allowed, Derek said. We can't eat raw sausages, can we? Norman replied as he rubbed two sticks together. Norman, it was his mum, Delis. The boy, the boys left the sticks and ran back to the camp. Suddenly, the sticks burst into flames. At the mountain rescue station, Tom Thomas looked out of the window. He spotted a strange cloud over the woods and looked closer. It wasn't a cloud. It was smoke from the fire. Tom called to fire station straight away. Tom, here I see smoke in the forest. He reported to Station Officer Steele. I'll try to put out the fire before it spreads.
With Sam gone, Elvis put up the last of the sign. Suddenly, Elvis' walkie-talkie crackled. Craig Ginton shouted, station officer Steele. A forest fire has started and there are people on the campsite. You must get them out of danger. You can count on me, sir, Elvis said. Let's go, Radar. Tom flew Wallaby on over the forest and Rob dropped an enormous bucket of water. Tom, Sam said over the walkie-talkie, how does it look? No good, Sam, answered Tom. The wind is blowing the fire towards Ponty Pandy. We'll be right there to tackle it from the ground, promised Sam. With lights flashing and sirens rolling, Jupiter and Venus sped to the forest. Sam Penny and Station Officer Steele sprayed water on the trees and grass. They ho hoped that it would stop the flames. If the fire spread, Pondy Pandy could be destroyed. It took was up to Sam and the crew to save the town. Steady now, called Sam, fighting this fire would take a lot of teamwork. Meanwhile, Elvis asked the radar to sniff around the forest with his clever nose. Radar soon led Elvis right to the campers. Elvis was happy to find everyone safe, but the, but the thick smoke was making it hard to breathe. Follow me, said Elvis. He heard the Jupiter siren and led the group towards the sound Finally, they found their way out of the smoky woods. Well done, Elvis, said Sam. Elvis joined the fire crew battling the blaze, but it was too strong for the water hoses. Crack! Suddenly the burning branch broke off from a tree and fell straight towards Sam. Without thinking, Elvis knocked right into Sam and rolled him to safely. The branch landed on the spot where Sam had been standing. Thanks, Elvis, cried Sam. You saved my life. Despite the crew's hard work, the fire was still heeding straight for Ponty Pandy. We must get everyone to safety, called Station Officer Steele. The fire crew took the townspeople and their pets to the harbour and helped them on board. Charlie's fishing boat as they watched the fire creep towards Pondy Pandy, Sarah, Sarah asked, Why are we going into the water, Dad? It's the only place where the fire can't reach us, said Charlie. As the fire got closer, Sam felt very sad. He didn't want to see Pondy Pondy destroyed. Just then, a drop of water fell on his nose. Sam, Sam, let's hop. It's enough to put out the fire. 
said Penny, as the, the rain began to pour down. Tom soon radioed from his helicopter, then ran has put out the fire. We're out of danger. The townspeople cheered as the boat returned to the dock. Ponty Pandy was safe. Soon after, there was another medal ceremony at Ponty Pandy Fire Station. Elvis, you showed real bravery during the Great Fire, Boy said. Well done. Elvis saluted. Now he was a hero too. And it's my pleasure to give survival badges to the Ponty Pandy Pointers. Driver event said next to well to most of them that this is all your fault to Norman and Derek moaned to each other. There were no badges for either of them. Afterwards, Sam told Chief Fire Officer Boyce that he had decided not to take the job in Newtown. Why didn't you take it, Sam? Elvis asked him. Later, you could have been a station officer in Nettown with you very on crew. Fireman Sam smiled. I learned a lot of during the Great Fire, Elvis. He said, I almost lost Pondy Pandy. And now I know I never want to leave Pondy Pandy will always be my home. The end.